Hey, Marcus Conti reporting from his little Washington hideout. Uh-oh, what's he doing in Washington? Fucking let the conspiracy theories begin. So, the, the top story still is Hillary Clinton, uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Right? Hillary Clinton bails out on D.C. event that Tulsi Gabbard was scheduled to speak at. <laughs> uh, Tulsi Gabbard has Hillary Clinton, the queen of corruption, right? the, the, the warmonger, the fearmonger on the ropes. Uh, so let's read this. Right? So I'm reading from, the, uh, reading from the New York Post. So Hillary Clinton bails on D.C. event that Tulsi Gabbard is attending. <laughs> it looks like the queen of, of uh, warmongers blinked. That's the New York Post uh, reporting. A face-to-face -face confrontation between Hillary Clinton and Representative Tulsi Gabbard set for next Friday was averted by the Clintons uh, when Clinton backed out of the Fortune Most Powerful Women Summit here in Washington, D.C. <laughs> so Hillary Clinton backs out. Clinton aides cited a scheduling conflict <laughs> when she announced her withdrawal from the speaking slot at the annual event. One insider told Slate that Clinton dropped out to protest the inclusion of former Homeland Security uh, Secretary Kirsten Nielsen on the schedule. Bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. Who is, who's Kirsten Nielsen? Nobody fucking knows, right? Um, but Gabbard is on the bill, too. And Clinton's pullout came just hours after the former Secretary of State on Friday accused the Hawaiian Democrat of being the favorite of the Russians. The favorite of the Russians. That's what Hillary Clinton said. Uh, look, this is big news because, because Tulsi Gabbard is a sitting congresswoman. Tulsi Gabbard is running for the presidency of the United States. Tulsi Gabbard is beloved somewhat in the progressive movement. Tulsi Gabbard is also somewhat of a favorite, an alternative to Trump in terms of war and such, right? So Tulsi Gabbard is a big figure to challenge, to give Hillary Clinton a cunt kick, literally, a fucking kick from behind, right? and send her, send, her, send her flying, is very, very important because nobody has done that. Nobody has made the calculation that to kick Hillary Clinton in her cunt is a good move. Everybody's warned against it. Bernie Sanders shivers in his boots when he thinks of Hillary Clinton and what happened in 2016, right? So that's why it's important that Tulsi Gabbard is doing this, and that's why it is the number one story. So Gabbard is billed too, and Clinton pulled out, um, quote, I think they've got their eye on somebody who is currently in the Democratic Party and are grooming her to be a third-party candidate, Clinton said about Tulsi Gabbard. Now, that's fighting words. That's calling a sitting, again, sitting congresswoman, Tulsi Gabbard, beloved in the progressive uh, community, a traitor. A traitor, someone that is, is that Russia, that will do the bidding of Russia. It's like, it's Rachel Maddow all over again. And of course, Hillary, uh, you know, infamously, infam these are infamous words of Tulsi Gabbard. Thank you, Hillary Clinton. You, the queen of warmongers, embodiment of corruption. Wow. And personification of the rot that has sickened the Democratic Party for so long have finally come out from behind the curtain. A Wizard of Oz, a Wizard of Oz uh, analogy. Don't pay attention to the woman behind the curtain. Remember that? When Toto pulled the curtain back? I think that's the talking point, though. That is the, um, the sticking point. Hillary Clinton, the embodiment of corruption. Wow, is that, is that so powerful. I just keep, I just, that's all I want to talk about, is that Hillary Clinton is the embodiment of corruption coming out of Tulsi Gabbard's mouth. See, I don't, I don't like Tulsi Gabbard because she sided with, with um, George Bush. Uh, believe the war, believe the weapons of mass destruction nonsense. I don't, I don't like that. But I'll overlook that 
<laughs> now, based on what what uh, Tulsi is doing, can she get the Democratic nominee? No, there's no way. It's just they're not going to give it to her. They're polling her. They're 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 rigging the polls to show less than one percent participation or interest, and that'll only get worse. So, but uh, but she could do a third party run. That is possible. Now, Tulsi Gabbard has said, "Oh no, no." They all say all the Democrats when you when you side with. Um, decide to run as a Democrat, you have to say you won't make a third party run if you lose. And Tulsi Gabbard could just flip the finger at her and say, well, I'm not a Democrat anymore. <laughs> right? Which she could do, which is the right thing to do. So, so Gabbard continued the, the retort during a, an appearance on Tucker Carlson. The reason why she's doing this is because ultimately she knows she can't control me. I stand against everything she represents, Tulsi Gabbard, about Hillary Clinton. I stand against everything that she represents. How disgusting is Hillary Clinton to come out of nowhere after all this time and diss on one of the most, you know, beloved congresswomen in Congress? Who, disgusting, like a monster. She is a monster. The Gabbard-Clinton spat drew an array of reactions on Twitter from supporters of both women. Fellow presidential candidates were divided. Cory Booker, <laughs> shit sandwich, who cares? Others, others like uh, entrepreneur Andrew Yang and author um, Marianne Williamson came to Gabbard's defense. The Democratic establishment has got to stop smearing women. It finds inconvenient, said Williamson. <laughs> I think it's more than just a, a smear of women. It's a smear of a sitting congresswoman and a, a, a uh, propagation of the Russiagate nonsense, the fake story. Gabbard, hold on a second. Gabbard, a major, uh, a major in the Hawaiian Army, Hawaiian Army National Guard, left the campaign trail for two weeks in August for active duty training in Indonesia. So she's a, a sitting congresswoman and an active military National Guard person. And Hillary Clinton calls her a Russian agent. If that doesn't bother you, if that doesn't make you sick, if that doesn't make you see how disturbed the Democratic Party is and the, and the true rot inside of it and how they're willing to lie and cheat and smear people, if that doesn't prove to you, then I don't, I don't know what else, how else, what other conclusion you can come to. Top tier candidates, however, Joe Biden and Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren stayed out of the fray. I also haven't heard anything from Bernie Sanders about this. Uh, nothing. Zero. Nada. Gabbard has long accused, uh, aroused suspicions among the Democratic field for a foreign policy approach, which may have, ac uh, have accused her of being favorable to Russia. Now, that's just a lie, right? So it's, she famously sat down with Assad dictator, uh, Syrian dictator uh, and Putin ally Bashar Assad in uh, 2000 Al Assad in 2017, even after the tyrant had bombed his own people. You know, look, Trump sat down with with the the leader of North Korea, right? And and uh, you know, after the guys got bombs pointing at Japan. Uh, so look, it's 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 a ridiculous statement for a leader a sitting congressperson to go like they do in Israel all the time and sit down with foreign entities to try to come up with some kind of peaceful compromise is, is good politics, is what congresspeople should be doing, not being shit on because of it, because it, it, it contradicts your Russia, your fake Russia story. It's a good thing. So, but she's being smeared by it. And it, it also, again, if you have to keep smearing Russia, because if you don't, then you have to look at 2016, the fact that the Russians never hacked any election, that that was an inside dump, uh, and that the whole story was made up. The whole story is fake. So Gabbard has been a tough critic of U.S. intervention in Syria, calling out what she said were U.S. efforts at regime change against Assad in 2016. Yeah, of course it is. It's no different than, you know, Trump and, you know, trying to do a regime change in Venezuela, trying to out Maduro and install um, 
Juan Guardo. Okay? Same thing. Okay? Um, Gabbard has also been given, um, a, this is the New York Post reporting, a right-leaning publication. Gabbard has also been given extensive favorable coverage in Russian language media, according to an analyst by NBC. <laughs> so the New York Post is citing NBC's coverage of, of Tulsi Gabbard in the Russian language. Where? Where? RT? RT is not a fucking Russian, a Russian, it's another bullshit, more bullshit. Her propagation of positions compar uh, compar compatible with Russia, ego statistic ego, <laughs> excuse me, Russia's geo -strategic, strategic interests can help them mainstream such discussions into the Democratic Party, said Alex Stamos, a former Facebook executive and NBC anal analyst. So, again, the entire, the entire Democratic establishment lining up to smear Tulsi Gabbard Nobody, no, no mainstream media coming to her, her rescue other than Tul Tucker Carlson who gave her, 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 you know, a voice, gave her a few minutes on, on Fox to explain. So, again, big news, right? This is what we need more of. If you want a revolution, this is how you do it. You, 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 you go after the smear, the people generating the smear. You don't hide and, and bow your head and then wait for some kind of favor later. No, you... Kick them in the fucking cunt. Excuse me, I'm gonna. Right? You give them a, a boot in the balls, right? That's what you do. Marcus Conti reporting from Washington, D.C.